We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Bam. Hey, what's up and welcome back to Pondering Pilots, the show where I tell you if a brand new TV show is worth watching based on the pilot alone as we answer the question on if this pilot takes flight or takes the plunge. Next up is an adaptation I've been waiting years to see and it's finally here. It's Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. There are still a lot of people who ascribe extra natural powers to symbols. So without giving too much away, The Lost Symbol is essentially about Robert Langdon, professor and expert on symbology, as he is on yet another adventure to discover the truth behind another conspiracy. This time, a mysterious villain wants him to find an ancient portal that is said to be somewhere in Washington, D.C. That's Peter's ring. As above, so below. Basically, if you've ever read a Dan Brown book in the series, you all know that they all start off listing various and mysterious facts that come into play later. Both with the TV show and the book, they start off with the fact that the CIA holds a document that says something about an ancient portal in the city, and it also contains the phrase, it's buried out there somewhere. Personally, I don't know how accurate that is, and it's probably out of context, but it is a fantastic hook to honestly my favorite Dan Brown novel out there. Years ago, when Ron Howard was going through his trilogy of films, I was angry, still am actually, that they just decided to skip over this story, which I always thought was the strongest out of the bunch, in order to do Inferno. And they did Inferno entirely wrong, but that's another talk show. We're here to talk about The Lost Symbol. And what can I say? I think they're finally doing a Dan Brown story right. As much fun as I've had with the film starring Tom Hanks, I can't help but think that none of them did the books justice because they rammed all these super complicated books into these mediums that just couldn't contain them. The movies were over convoluted and they never let the ideas breathe so that the viewers could fully understand and comprehend the depth and ramifications of what was going on and what it all meant, which was something that the books always did way better. By turning this book into a TV show, I'm finally at a point where I can forgive Ron Howard for not making the adaptation because he could have potentially ruined it. A TV show can offer that breathing room, which I believe that this one is doing. It is definitely following the story incredibly closely, maybe adding some more things here and there that weren't in the books, but not much. And the tone is definitely there. I'm loving the mystery. I'm loving getting sucked back into this world of a book that I've only ever read once but I'm remembering so much about it right off the bat. I'm even loving the performance of our new Langdon actor here, Ashley Zuckerman, and he's actually very charming, charismatic, and likable. So is Tom Hanks, but I never really saw Tom Hanks as somebody that fit the role. I mean, I never saw him when I read the books. This guy seems to fit that overall character more than Tom Hanks, and I actually appreciate that about this series. I will miss the Hans Zimmer score though. I will say that because that essentially was a staple of the films, and it's entirely missing in this TV show unless they add it later. I mean, I did see a slightly unfinished press copy, but it seemed to be mostly complete from what I could tell. The thing about it is, I read the book, so I know the story and where it goes, and I knew going into the show that I'll be watching every episode, period. But now, seeing the pilot, I can also say for everybody else, it took flight. This first episode works really well as a stinger to find what's to come. You know, the filming location of Washington, D.C. isn't as extravagant as some of Dan Brown's other stories, but what can I say? The book also took place in Washington, D.C., so it's accurate. Other than that, I'm just excited to watch the rest of the series unfold. I know at one point they said it would serve as a prequel to the other stories, but, I mean, if you ever read the books, I don't think it ever has mattered in what order it took. It's always about this symbology professor that gets pulled into a mystery that he must solve. And the same goes here. You know, so I don't know if it's a prequel or if it's not. I also don't know if this will be a short miniseries just going over the one book or if they'll do others or if they'll do their own stories. I have no freaking idea at this point, but I'm game just to watch it if it was a miniseries. What about you guys, though? Are you excited to watch Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol when it airs on Peacock on September 16th? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified with the next time that I ponder a pilot. And until then, peace out. Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number one. Critic that I go to when I...
I need 